So I'm going to run through a couple of items and I want you to tell me based on our rules whether you think it goes in the yellow or the red bin or somewhere else. All right, you feeling good? I'm going to bring our bins together. If you haven't been watching, you've had a few clues because I've had them on this, each side. I'm going to go rogue and separate them. All right. It's not empty. First of all, if it was empty, where would I put it? If it was empty. If it's empty. Yeah, sorry. sorry. If it's full, use it up. <laughs> yeah, so you can drop it to the CRC. Yep. Do we ever put these in here, Karen? No. So if it's still got a chemical paint, something else in there, we're going to assume it's, it's empty. We can pop it in there. Awesome. Now here's something which arguably is recyclable, but has some food in it. It's to be washed first. Yeah, so we get rid of that. I won't empty that in there because Karen's cleaned the bins, but yeah, please empty it out. Um, what about this top part and the back bottom bit? It's a good one for your scrunch test. Probably fair chance the bottom bit is recyclable. Top bit, not so much. Hands. Now people get upset because they're like, but it's plastic inside. Yeah, there is plastic inside these cans, but it's all right. The company that deals with them are okay to take that. Yeah. Please don't put them in there. Unless you've got a very specific mandate from your council that they're taking them. A lot of soft plastics recyclers um, may take them, so you can check with Red Cycle if they're doing it, or it's a TerraCycle. I don't know if anyone's done TerraCycle, but it's it's like custom recycling for very hard to recycle items. So for now, everyone's getting very upset because they're like, there's so many things. What about wet wipes? They look papery. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, coffee pots. The couple of rules these guys break. I, I scoop the centre out of them and, yep. and put that in the compost. Beautiful. And put the aluminium into. Well, it's probably too small into the, that one there. Yep. So if it's aluminium, which it is, and what do we know about aluminium? You probably don't know much, but we know aluminium is, if we can get it back, infinitely recyclable. It's great. It's a metal, very light, able to, and we can also do a great job of. Holding it now. The thing about that is making sure it's not too small. So if we emptied it and then put it straight in there, not so much. But you could, if you really wanted to, clean it out. Um, and then if it's aluminium, and you'll know it's aluminium because it responds with light and it's really flexible, you can roll it up. Your kids can collect all their Easter egg foil and wrap it up in a big ball and then they can put it in there. <laughs> Crockery. Yes, please don't put them. I'll leave that there. Excellent. Put our plastics here. Why? Yeah. So what's the difference between these two? This is not the best I, but best example, but what's the difference between a jar and a drinking? Anyone know? The amount of silica. Yeah, so, so it behaves differently at temperature. So some of them will be very recyclable and will be make great, great glass fines, say that. Um, and these ones, not so much. So if you break a wine glass, put it in your red bin, please. <laughs> um, it's the reason that, you know how some jars, um, some glass will hold up to heat if you put hot water in it and some won't. If you ever put hot water, boiling hot water into a wine glass, for example, yeah. not a good idea. Um, all right, these are getting a bit easier now. Yeah. Beautiful. Or? So yes. Yes. Great. Yeah. Red. What else can you do with rags? Um, if it's cotton, you can put it in your compost, yeah. Um, if, um, if it's still something that's very usable, then obviously 
please donate it, but please don't donate something just because you don't want to put it in your red bin. That's a very bad idea. Um, yeah. Karen, she's giving me the yeah. Um, my, the word on the street is this level of contamination, they're okay with. Tetra pack. <laughs> I won't open it, but a good example of why we'd open it and take the lid off. Um, yeah, so um, they can, poppers can go to the CDS to um, so return it. Um, most councils will accept Tetra packs. They aren't the greatest thing to recycle. What are they made up of other than just paper? And yeah, so it's got the three. On those plastic on the outside, paper in the middle, and aluminium or, um, and plastic in the inside. Um, so, yeah, but lid off, in, off, in, on. As someone who likes to flatten their milk bottles, I wouldn't be. I've brought one that I don't know what to do. Excellent, I love it. Show and tell. Oh, excellent, great. Coffee back. No one knows. Do, first of all, no, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not in there. Um, even yeah, really good. Um, it's even not accepted by some red cycle. Um, again, I think it's because it's a mixture of metal and plastic. Um, there are specialist coffee bag recyclers. I think um, I'm actually. It, again, if you're only getting one every couple of weeks, it's, uh, what I actually do with them is use them to line my bin to put other rubbish in. So yeah, um, I would check with Red Cycle, but my gut feel is it's probably not, yeah. It's hard, isn't it? Because all of a sudden you go, oh, I don't really want All right, last couple. These ones upset people. Yeah, it is okay. It's, it's, on, the, it's on the borderline. Because it's one of those things that you know, you've seen them driven over in a car, in a car park, like it, they go flat, they're very lightweight, they behave a bit like almost a single use, a single use plastic, but um, these will be gradually phased out, I'm pretty confident. You're already starting to see cardboard cut back in for tomatoes and uh, strawberries. Yeah, so it is, um, let's have a look, yep, it is, it's a PT, but... So it, it's going to make it to the same, it's just whether it makes it, it might fly off with the paper, for example. It's a bit small. So, yeah, again, this is where that avoidance starts coming in. It's very hard, but if you can try and avoid some of those problematic. Last ones. Second ones. Yeah, beautiful. If you've read them. I haven't, actually. <laughs> All right, and then this one's problematic for people. You see a lot of this. So it's all very nice to say, oh, it's just this. But when you open something and inside it's got things like this, we start to have a mild panic attack. So we're confident in the cardboard. And then we've got this thing. Yeah, we definitely could to send that to a um, red cycle. And then we're left with this bad boy. Again, so some of us would just go, well, I don't know, so I'm just going to put it in there. And I I would, in my home, I would put it in here. Karen's nodding. <laughs> um, obviously, again, it's one of those items that if you can avoid this level of packaging, it's literally biscuits, cheese, and, you know, like, we could make our own home, but we understand we live in a very convenient space. But, yes, it's probably, it's a bit like a strawberry punnet. It's going to be on the... Um, Excellent. I'll okay. throw that lip in. And then these guys, hopefully you got the message on these ones now. Yeah. So don't put them in any of the bits. Take it to your um, community drop-off or your CRC.